The Essex Poison Panic began here in Clavering. It's almost not in Essex. Cambridgeshire is just up that way and Hertfordshire is over here. Sarah Chesham lived in this village with her family. She was quite an ordinary sort of person, the wife of an agricultural labourer. Her two sons, Joseph and James, died very suddenly in 1845, and no one really thought anything more about it. They were buried in the churchyard and life moved on. In the following year, 1846, um, she was accused by a local girl who lived in Menuden, just down the road, of poisoning her baby. Sarah had been visiting the, the um, mother of this child, who had become pregnant by the farmer who owned Sarah's house and had employed her sons. Sarah didn't like Thomas Newport at all, and she visited Lydia, telling her how much she, she disliked him and how badly she thought that Thomas had treated Lydia. Once the child had fallen ill, and Lydia's rumours were rife around the village, people started to remember the sudden deaths of her sons. They were exhumed from the churchyard and an, and an autopsy took place. Their insides were sent to London to Professor Taylor, who was a toxicologist at, the, at Guy's Hospital. He found a vast amount of arsenic inside these boys, and an inquest had been opened, which started in this pub just behind me here, the Fox and Hounds, and it's still open to this day. It's quite odd going in there and th remembering what had happened there all those years ago. Solomon Taylor had died as well by this point, and with all this evidence that was thought to exist, Sarah was sent to Chelmsford to await trial for murder. She was tried at the Easter Assizes in 1847, defended by Charles Chadwick Jones. He would go on the following year to defend Mary May when she too was accused of poisoning. Jones, looking at the evidence, couldn't deny the fact that Joseph and James had died of arsenic poisoning. He did, however, say that Sarah was a loving mother. She had no motive for killing her children. And there was evidence from all over in the village about the fact that she was very distraught when her children had died. Even the vicar said how much she doted on her children. And one of her sons stood up and said, our mother was a good mother to we. As for the death of Solomon Taylor, the idea was that she'd been paid by Thomas to kill the baby so that he would no longer have to pay support for him. But when Professor Taylor looked inside the child, he couldn't find any evidence of poisoning at all. The child had died of a disease of the mesenteric glands, which is of natural causes. It might have been irritated by arsenic administered by someone, not necessarily Sarah, who knows? But it was suggested it may actually have been something called Godfrey's cordial, which was quite commonly fed to babies and contained a lot of laudanum. At this period, it wasn't unusual to feed this to babies, and unfortunately a lot of babies were poisoned as a result. But Sarah was now acquitted. She came back home to Clavering all the way from Chelmsford, but it doesn't seem as though she could resume her normal life. A lot of rumour and suspicion still surrounded her. However, the focus of the poison panic was to move in the following year from this little corner of Essex all the way across the county to Wicks, which is just, up, which is just down the road from Harwich.